G'day everyone, it was finally time for the AFL 23 launch party last night and I rocked up there a little bit early so I actually got kicked out, went downstairs, had a cheeky drink and headed back up to the media launch where they unveiled Christian Petrarca and Darcy Bessio as the players on the front cover of AFL 23. And they spoke for a bit, the cover looks awesome, have a look at it now, um, and that was great. So the night started to kick off, people started arriving, footy players uh, started rocking up as well, and I thought I'd take this opportunity to grab the great man on the front cover, Christian Petrarca, for a little chat. Christian Petrarca, you're on the front cover of AFL 23, how do you feel being the face of the AFL in a way? Oh, I wouldn't say I'm the face of the AFL, <laughs> the face of the, the cover, which is, yeah, uh, yep. yeah, it's a massive honour and a privilege. I uh, grew up playing FIFA and NBA 2K and stuff like that, so it's uh, it's cool to actually see my face on the PlayStation game or a, a game in general. It's pretty cool. I saw you before, you had a chance to play it. What did you think? It was awesome. I really enjoyed it. I kicked a goal. I beat a seven-year-old 20-0 <laughs> in the first quarter, so <laughs> probably something I'm not proud of, but uh, no, it was an awesome game. Last thing. What do you think about your player in game? What's your rating? Like, how do you feel about it? I don't know what my rating is, but I, uh, it's pretty realistic. I have big quads and, um, and play pretty well, so I'll take that, yeah. Then there was more of a formal presentation that followed after this. They showed us uh, the trailer. They told everyone we were gonna be getting the game uh, at launch with everyone else. Um, not, not tonight, like uh, I'm sure some of the rumors were going out about. Uh, and then sort of the night kicked off and a few players were having a crack and uh, I thought I would jump and stop by the Tigers because uh, Tommy Lynch was giving the game a crack and I thought I'd ask Nathan Broad, who was sitting behind him, a few questions out about how he thought Tommy Lynch's performance was at the game. Lynch is currently playing the game. How do you think he's going? Uh, he's going all right. He hasn't touched yet, neither have I. <laughs> Both haven't had touches, but I didn't mind Hopper's celebration, a bit of carry on. Um, like, how do you how do you reckon this game is going to go? What do you reckon the public reception is going to be? I think it's good. Yeah, I like it. the graphics look pretty good. Um, seems like yeah, seems right so far. Kind of looks like who we are, which is good. Uh, a bit better than the 04 version. Uh, but no, it's good. It looks awesome. I've um, only played it for a few minutes, but um, it seems great. Yeah, I'm sure the kids going to love it. Now, I reckon we saw your rating before. Was it 88? Am I right in saying that? I think someone might have done me a favour there and put me at 88. I think. I think they might have been 68, but um, I'll take it. Well, I think it's all done by champion data, so you might actually be a pretty damn good player. I'd be right there, there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the big, the big fella's number one, I think, so he, he deserves it. So as the night went on, I went around, mingled with a few more people, got to meet a few new creators in the AFL space, as well as uh, a few more businessy people, I guess, as the night went on. Um, and I even got to play a bit of the game myself uh, for a couple, had a couple of little goes at it. So. Uh, this was one of my better set shots through the night. Um, but after this, it was my chance to talk to Ross, uh, who's the CEO of Big Ant Studios, get an inside scoop as to what's going on in the game. And uh, we actually had a little recount of a story from 10 years ago about the first time we met. So we, we've got Don Bradman Cricket, and we're showing it at EB in Swanson Street. Yes. And this little kid rolls up, <laughs> and he's got a camera. I was in year 12 at the time. And he says to me, he says to me, can I record? And I go, no problem, no yeah. problem at all. And then EB, and then, and then, no. then he goes and asks the EB manager, and he says, can I record? And the EB manager says, well, now that you've actually asked me, no. <laughs> anyway, rookie mistake, that's yeah. fine. You've learned by now. But you may, you may have had a downside in not being able to film in EB. But I felt so sorry for this kid. I actually invited him back to Big Ant. I know. We did a one-on-one -on -one interview. I know. Which was the world premiere, only first interview of for Don Bradman Cricket. Like, so you were it. I know. Like, you had the I absolute- the exclusive. You had the exclusive I'm for the world. <laughs> for the world for DVC. And look how far you've come. I know. 10 years <laughs> and we're still in the same spot. Well, I mean, bigger and better at this yeah, point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, crazy what a, times. What a, what a journey. Uh, what a journey. Anyway, plenty more of Ross details to come. I've got a big interview with him posting later on, uh, either today or tomorrow. But uh, I had one more crack at the game before taking some snaps and then heading home for the night. So um, it was a great launch event. I'm really excited to see more and I can't wait uh, to actually get more hands-on time with AFL 23 uh, when it rolls around on April 13th.